Hello, this is Vivek. Welcome to another video in Page Preforms video series. In this video, I am going to work on uploading files in our coding editor. For that, I am going to create a new view and a new controller. And I am going to use header and footer. I am copying this code form.php and uh, creating a new view inside a views directory. And I am calling it as file upload php pasting this code okay and uh, i am going to remove all these input fields before that uh, let's create another controller method and load this view inside that controller method i am going to form.php that is a form controller public function i am calling it as upload okay i am going to load this views Reusing the statements from existing controller, header and footer are same, and here it will be upload. What's our view? It's a file upload. File hyphen upload. Let's go to this view. Previously, I was loading just form because it's an index controller method, so we don't have to access index. And now we should access this upload controller method for loading this file. Upload. Okay, we have an error. We have to load this helper base URL. I am copying this statement and after loading this URL helper, we will get another error that is first session. I have to load this session. And also the form. We need all this. Okay, let's reload the page. We should see the form. It's our previous form. I'm going to remove all these input fields. I'll add a file input field. Let's go to file upload. I am removing this select drop down list, radio buttons. Okay, and uh, this email just removing this input, and I'll add input type file name image. Let's reload this page. We should see the first name and last name along with this file input field. Okay, I have modified this file now. We can submit these files. Before that, I want to add form open multipart for sending files i have to add multipart form data if you see this form we don't have anything it's a previous form and i will load this upload controller method now i should see encoding type multipart form data for sending files we have to add this attribute enc type multipart form data otherwise we won't be able to access these files okay next task is i am going to manual coding letters manual from our welcome controller here is a link whenever you want to access you can go through this link or you can type user underscore guide inside this application directory i am searching for file upload for upload class file upload class okay and let's go to controller. I am going to reuse this controller method. I am copying this to upload. Let's go to our form controller. I am adding it here. Okay. Let's indent this code a little bit and this statements also. Okay. And here I am going to create this uploads directory or media directory inside assets. We have assets directory. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'll create it as uploads or media, whatever you want to call, you can create it. And I have to add assets. It's in root directory, so we can use dot slash. And after that, assets. Next after it, it's uploads. Here the load types are GIF, JPG, and PNG. These are the load types, and it's a max size, max width in pixels, and max height in pixels. Here I am loading this upload library for uploading files and for uploading this file. 
this is a statement this upload do upload user file it's an input field name so i'm using image so i'm using image here i have used image in our file upload view for input field so i'm using image here and uh, for displaying error messages this is a uh, statement this upload display errors and for getting data after uploading the file this upload data i'm going to comment this views or delete this views wardump error here also wardump data okay that's it and uh, if i submit the form i should see something and before seeing something we should upload the we should update this action url to this method to upload and uh, this is where we'll be using while submitting the data to different controller method we'll use it in our action url let's go to upload page refresh it i'm selecting the file i have selected the file and submitting the form the upload destination folder does not appear to be writable okay let's just fix this issue reloading this page going back to our project directory and here uploads i'm modifying this permissions get info read write read write i'm closing it and we'll upload the file once again i'm selecting the file submit the file you are attempting to upload is larger than permitted file size okay let's just comment this this three if you want you can define them i am commenting them here in my case let's submit the form once again this file is already selected now you can see this file is uploaded and upload data previously it was displaying the errors now it's displaying upload data from our controller method here i am assigning this to upload data it's a default file upload controller method i am using it's assigning to upload data index and here you can see all this information file name and the path in our exam directory this is a path coordinator forms assets uploads and it's a full path file path and full path okay everything is uh, fine we can access this file names or file path in our application to insert or store them in a database for that purpose we'll use i'm not going to work on that in this video if you want to learn more about uh, coordinator just check out my coordinator courses or if you want to learn coordinator basics check out my coordinator basics course i'll provide the links in description let's check this file in our upload directory if i go to upload directory here is a file it's uploaded here we have successfully uploaded the files with our coordinator and we can do a lot of things with these files and next we should pass true or false to our controller method or for inserting data thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions please post it in comment section